got, this is it, this is the last video of all of these videos, seven out of seven. Let's make it a good one. It's about the final writing activity, question seven. Um, the longer writing activity, the longest piece of writing you have to do on the paper. Here is the one that you've got in your mocks. Choose an activity or hobby that you're interested in. Write an article for your school or college magazine persuading other students to try it. Remember to write an article. No, really? And remember to write to persuade. I love the way they do that. Um, okay, so that was, yeah, that's what we got. It won't necessarily be, it, it definitely won't be that in your real exam. I'm not going to give you the same question twice. Um, but we're told it'll be along the lines of argue or persuade, something where you've got to put your point of view across. It might be advise, I suppose, but it'll be, it won't, it's not likely for the longer one to be describe or explain. Okay, this is what we're told. It's the first time we've done this exam, so I hope that's true. Uh, 24 marks for this question, so you need to be writing for a bit longer. Um, 35 minutes is what they advise. Okay, I'm gonna, a lot of this is similar to question six, so I'm gonna whiz through it, and uh, if you want more detail on this, look at question six, and where I go into the mark scheme and stuff in more detail. Uh, but again, you've got to remember to flap, okay? And um, for, so let's do that for this question, form, language, audience, and purpose. Um, form is an article, so what is an article? It's a, it's a short piece of writing uh, on a particular theme, or topic, or idea. If you're not clear about, clear about what an article is, get a magazine, read it, look at the articles, okay, come speak to us about it if you're still not clear. Your language is persuasive language, and it's also aimed at students, which means you can be a bit more informal maybe, you can be a bit more slangy. Don't start writing text message stuff all the way through it. I might chuck a bit in, but I really try and avoid that because you're looking to write in standard English as well. But, you know, you can be a bit more informal, I suppose, in the language that you use. Audience is other students, so think about that audience, that's who you're targeting, and purpose is to persuade, to persuade students to try whatever it is you choose to do. Mark scheme, pretty similar to last time. What else? A couple of things I'd pick out. Look at this bullet point here. Uses vocabulary effectively, including discursive markers, e.g. furthermore and alternatively. That's good. You can specifically put that in. They want firstly, secondly, furthermore, alternatively. They want those, those uh, what do you call it, discursive markers, discourse markers, um, organising your text. Good things to put in paragraph uh, topic sentences. Um, blah, blah, blah. Have a look at it again if you want to. Indicative content, what, what they might write about what you might write about, about your, your hobby or whatever. Um, show understanding of the nature of an article and the genre of school or college magazine. So, what does that mean? Show you know what an article is, show you know what a school magazine is. It's a magazine that they produce for school children. I don't think we've got one, I think we're getting one. Um, but you know, something which is aimed to inform the students at school about issues which are important to them. Uh, offer some outline of the chosen activity or hobby, like explain what it is a little bit, try and persuade the reader to try it. Um, lively contemporary language choices, that means a bit of slang maybe, you know, kind of uh, trying to make it sound lively in the words that you use and appropriate for your audience. Persuasive language, blah blah. Oh, oh that's important. Conclude in a rounded and persuasive way, so you have a decent ending. To it, beginnings and endings really important. Um, same mark scheme for the sentence structures and all that sort of stuff. So we've got accurate spelling, um, but it's not the end of the world if you get a couple of words wrong. Uh, variety of sentence forms really important. Punctuation, range of punctuation. Uh, get your sentences accurate. Make sure your sentences are accurate. But right, anyway, if you want more on that, I'd be surprised if you do. If you do, it's on the previous filming question six. But right. our success criteria then trying to make this. Uh, you know, a bit more comprehensible. First of all, remember your content and ideas, words, sentences and paragraphs. Um, paragraphs and structure, pyramid, that's what we're aiming for, that's what good writing is, um, to a large extent. 